Actually, we gotta start there. You gotta start with what's in the pot. What's in the pot? What's in the pot? What's in the, it's, oh, Indian food. Yeah. Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and I figured I would do a video about what I do here and what's going on here. Because I wanted, I these guys have no idea that I was going to do, they knew I was gonna do a video, they know what the topic was, so they're all laughing as soon as I said, what do I do here? Yeah. So I'll let what them do actually you do here. I'll let them answer. What do I do here? Pester us with a camera. Yeah. <laughs> Pester them with a camera. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I want to do a video to kind of talk about what I do, what it looks like running behind the scenes. A few people ask for behind the scenes videos and uh, I haven't been able to use my studio for a couple days because it was messy because of the other project. But now it's messy because that one is being delivered and installed. Now this is the next one that is being set up and it's another Unify project. And I will catch up. These videos are just harder to do the whole project part um, because we can't always do them on site. But this one, we do have some information on so that will be coming. That's uh, This is actually part two of the same project uh, from almost, was it? Well, when did we do the, the warehouse? Right. And, okay, the other first warehouse is about a month ago. Yeah. So this is another warehouse of the same company. This company has a lot of warehouses. but. What this is, is the studio gets converted into the project area. Steve is cooking food. This is one of the company policies. I've talked about this before, where we feed everybody or uh, everybody gets fed. And specifically today, Steve is making Indian food. So that's Steve's just still part of it. for a stove. Steve wants a stove. So office upgrade goals is having a full kitchen. Matter of fact, I think, Steve, you want a commercial kitchen? I mean, I wouldn't oppose to it. You can just record me cooking. Yeah. Stainless is easier to clean. A little bit. Really, I just need a stove. I'd be making a lot more stuff fresh. Here's a closer Eat look a lot at better. what you don't see when uh, the studio is being set up is all the little wires. But this is all the temporary where we dangle these around and uh, start setting it all up. Kyle and Steve are unboxing them. I have another group of people on site installing stuff, uh, putting the racks up in the air and everything else. And then I have Eric over here, which I won't. Well, I'll do it from a distance because you can't see. Here, lock your screen just for a second. Yeah, sure. There we go. Then we can walk by. Hey. Yeah, that's where Eric usually sits, which is kind of the front of the building. Because a few people ask about having the retail spot of the building, and it does have automated lights. We don't really do much retail anymore, but this is the front of the store. So uh, that's what it looks like. There's the scooter here. It's not for sale. It's actually we ride it to customers because we have customers that are that close to us. And then all the shipments of things that's left over that they'll keep bringing in there. And then the guys will drive up front and load it and take it back out. All right. Uh, then we'll walk through here. This is where my office is. It does say, uh, do not dumb here. I asked them to not dumb here before they come into my uh, small closet. I've done breakdowns of my little work area. But yes, that is, even with this wide angle lens, it's as small as it looks in there. Walk through the back of the building a little bit. Brett is uh, off this week. He's on vacation. So if you want to just happen to Brett and then Kyle's stuff is back over there. I'm just double checking to make sure there's no customer things. I, I don't like any of the customer stuff on there. Um, <laughs> this is the drawing board we use a lot. Now, as far as what does my day look like? What do I do here? I wanted to talk about that kind of more specifically. So a lot of my day is emails, emails, creating some videos. I probably spend about a good part of my time now, because that's what I've chosen to do as I've hired more people and delegated out some of my positions, I spend a lot of time replying to emails, but ultimately I manage by exception, which is still my involvement in the business. And what does that mean? Well, manage by exception means there's process procedures that everybody follows. And when things go awry, when there are things that are out of scope, out of spec, that's where I get involved. And I bring this up because the perfect example has happened the last, it's only Tuesday right now, and yet we've had some fun out of uh, out of sequence events and unexpected behaviors. So specifically related to the warehouse project, one of the warehouses is 30 miles north of my building and the other one is about 30 miles south of my building. And the uh, lift company, first thing they did on Monday morning was deliver to the wrong building. We're not sure how. Now we told them which project we verified. We have it in email in writing because I make sure my staff puts everything in writing of exactly where did this information go? So I made sure processes were followed where if it's not in writing, it didn't happen because I've, I would have heard they just read them an address or something like that and didn't follow it up for an email. I would put the onus on my people for having made the mistake for not verifying, but they did. They were able to produce the evidence. So I got to investigate this. 
problem two. This is also something that had to be in writing. And perhaps the people at the warehouse may see this video. I'm fine with that because one, this is a back and forth. The height of an area was told to us in the project design for where we had to mount things. And that height is off by a number of feet, which means the lifts that were delivered were the wrong size. They won't reach exactly where we need to reach into one area of the building, uh, where we were implicitly told them in writing, and it was affirmed, replied to that email, that the lifts were the right size. So these are kind of like those steps or procedures where Tom has to get involved, says now we have to swap out a lift or at least get a delivery of one more lift at that location that will reach those areas because that lift will do the other areas. So we actually shuffled which way we're doing the job. And this is coordinated between some of the contractors that I have. So I only have these handful of people you see on the website or working inside the building. And then outside of that, we have a whole series of partner companies. And that's where I come in and manage those vendor relationships and those partners. And of course, they are needing the lift as well because they need to redo some of the fiber ends. As I said before, when people ask me about doing fiber, do you do that? No, I made the decision that we're not gonna do it internally. We have a company we work with directly is local to us that we contract out for the fiber, but they can't reach the same area because they have to go put the ends on the new fiber that was put over there or really just resplace certain ends that were already existing uh, and do some wire cleanup to move a cabinet over. And uh, yeah, that's not going to work because they can't reach it just like we can't reach it. So these are those uh, things by exception, which I manage. When I'm not doing that, my other function here is just the general making sure everything's going forward. I don't always directly involve myself in some of the day-to-day, -day, the help desk or something like that, like you've seen Eric doing, or which Kyle is usually, but he's, there's nothing going on. There's usually Kyle sitting over here behind me in these glass cubicle areas is where some of the more uh, support things happen and for now, he's waiting for the food to cook and uh, they're gonna plug in a whole stack of unifies that are gonna go up over in the other room and do all the testing and labeling and get them prepped. So the contractors that we have installing them are going to get this whole project done. Because this is also the, uh, I'm not gonna call it secret sauce because it's not really secret, but the ingredients to Tom, you know, how do you get things done? Well, the ingredient is contractors. Uh, when it comes to planning and designing, my team does that internally, like for this wireless project, when it comes to deploying, you need a bigger team, especially when you start talking about, okay, you're gonna go put 80 of these up in two days, or one of the bigger projects that I'm gonna be covering and doing a follow-up on, where we had to install 300 access points in only a couple days. Well, obviously planning it and designing it, we'll do that internally, but I needed to hire extra help or have the relationships that I manage with them. So that's a lot of some of my day-to-day -day here. And I just wanna talk about that a little bit, like to show you, what goes on. So when I'm not making videos and not making that, I'm just kind of making sure the company and all of its pieces. Now that's the role I choose to have as the owner of this company. And it kind of depends on where you are as a business and what role you get to choose. I just bring it up because a lot of people, what you do as the owner, do you, you know, you stay involved or I want a, uh, to have a boss that's directly involved or not involved. And there's, there's some happy in between. There's not a right answer for that. So there's not a predefined thing. Like I especially had before owning a business in my head of the owner does this and I want the owner to you know, hands-on standing next to me uh, or whatever these memes you see about what leadership roles are defined as. And it's a little bit less defined once you're sitting in that position. Um, ultimately, I try to make sure everything goes forward in the company. I try to make sure everyone has everything they need and all the resources uh, available to them to make sure they can get their job done. And I make sure they have the tools and such that they need. So that does include, of course, me making sure I make all the decisions at the top level with input from my staff of what really works if they're the ones using it, about software and everything else. <clears throat> and I'm always tuning and changing what those things are to make sure it's like the most efficient we can be or why we make a switch from such as my recent switch from last year using LastPass, well, not last five years, probably using LastPass and moving everything over to Bitwarden. I did a video on that, but that's a decision that comes down from me going and researching software and looking at the pain points we had with LastPass and saying, you know, how do we solve those point, how, how do we solve those pain points with something like Bitwarden? And somewhere in between, I had a conversation to set up some future videos that are coming up, which does include uh, conversations with other techs and other people. Um, actually, that's the next thing I have to do is another conference call. And some of this is related to my channel. Sometimes it's related to other vendors we're going to be working with on the company. So <clears throat> kind of gives you an idea a little bit, maybe what I do. And I don't mind doing some of these like update behind the scenes videos. A few people though asked to kind of like the uh, hanging out with my guys videos or my texts that are uh, here and talking with them in war stories. But the big challenge those turn into 
is they I don't want to just be one of those we all sit and complain about people that do this and it it's hard because that's something I do as setting the standards and setting the culture for my company um, that you don't want to be a bunch of people complaining about customers and things like that and yes we do have uh, very difficult clients we have someone that you know uh, it's funny because I, I had to tell them all right time to be quiet we're gonna I'm gonna hit record because that becomes a problem sometimes and you see that and I admit this customer is being very very difficult uh, they have a bunch of stuff we repaired some of the equipment they had but they were sold some really lousy equipment from another vendor and they don't like the fact that we have a similar suggestion because of what product they have we're like well a similar suggestion but redone properly and he's like well i don't know if i want to go with the same brand uh, but you know the other guy doesn't answer phone no more so i want to talk to you etc and uh, managing those relationships and right away first thing i said was the person's two months behind on paying their last bill we've been chasing them for money uh, so they start complaining, well, I don't want to do any uh, quotes for the person until they pay. And I said, that's actually a fair statement. And that's what I told them to send. And the person actually paid as soon as we said, we won't even give them a quote until they paid their previous bill. They immediately paid their previous bill. Uh, but you have to ma manage those relationships all the time and figure that out. And of course, I the thing is with the complaining is there's usually something underlying about it. You don't want to just say, don't complain. We have to figure out why people are complaining and I have to look for ways to mitigate it. So part of my job here, I guess, is kind of the social side of managing uh, not just client happiness, but making sure everything is kind of copacetic internally, that everyone's happy and all that fun stuff. But they're really happy because that Indian food is insanely spicy for those of you wondering. And I'm gonna walk into the room and kind of conclude it there and see, uh, walk by my office and see what they're okay. over in here. <clears throat> and it's just about set up. And it's will end with, I can smell how spicy it is. So just, what you what do you guesstimate at? the Scovilles are gonna be in this? What's Not the, much uh, right now. Well, oh, okay. I at had uh, at least 12. <laughs> at least 12. <laughs> More than five <laughs> units. <laughs> More than five units of heat. <laughs> yeah. You add about three million. Yes. That's actually what I add is the three million. Because that's actually the more important part of how we do it. Oh, yes. I forgot to ask you. You were actually busy when I first started. Yo, what do I do here? What do you mean, what do you do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See what, what I mean? That's I don't know. He just kind of sits in his office for a while and then leaves. <laughs> he sits in his office for a while pretending to be working, but then he posts memes. To yes. Us. We're <laughs> all guilty of that. I, yeah. We're all guilty of a lot of memes. It makes me feel less bad. Yeah, I, I measure the success of my company not in dollars, but in how much time I get to look at memes. Yes. And then post them and share them Tom's amongst people. Tom's been really busy. Oh, and here's a string of three memes. Ooh. Tom's door's locked. He must be doing something really important. Ooh, I'm hungry. Ooh, that's curry. That smells good. <laughs> but yeah, I do measure. I measure the success of my business and the amount of memes that get posted. Absolutely. <laughs> and the time we have memes. to post memes. As long as all the work's done, as long as the chores are done and everything's done around here, and all the unifies are glowing. We take we, a break at like meme thirty. We got meme yes. 30. <laughs> yeah, we usually mentally shut down around five-ish. Yeah. yeah, mental shutdown happens around five yeah, sometimes. I'm starting to now, and it's 347. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll get you some Red Bull and yeah. a close-up look at the firewall, of course. <laughs> this is this is really how we deal with the pain of doing tech support occasionally. Like, I was going to complain about tech support, but I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, Redfish, a.k.a. Miso, as we learned, means yeah. Redfish. Yeah. A little of this. You just replace the tech support pain with physical pain. You just replace tech support pain with physical pain. I mean, you know, I could complain about an HP printer that was stuck for a little while, or I could have some uh, really hot Reaper pepper. <laughs> All right. Why not both? Why not both? Printer support and Reaper peppers. <laughs> Every time you have to load a driver update for HP, just to do a shot of peppers. <laughs> you tried restarting it. <laughs> you tried turning it off and on again. Pretty much. That's my job. That's his job. He just turns things on and off. That's what Eric's learned about. He's He's been here the least amount of time, and what you learned was... What you learn in school means nothing, and you just reboot things a lot, right? Yeah, people lie about restarting things. And people lie about restarting things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's pretty much. That's essentially it. <laughs> so I went to my conference call. I said the end of the video, not the end of the video, because Corey showed up while I was on the phone, got off the phone. And uh, I, I like the phrase Corey just used called, what'd you say? Tripping on trades, man. Tripping on trades, because he gave me an update on the other projects that I was doing a video about what I do around here and coordinating things, which included a lift that was in the wrong, 30 miles in the wrong direction, technically 60 miles away from where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. The ceiling not being in the right height. And then Corey's other project he was working on, as he said, tripping on trades, when I asked how it was going, what that means is we're waiting on a new floor 
Yeah, we're waiting on a floor. There's a floor. whole level we can't even get to because yeah. we're waiting on them to finish <laughs> that up, which is turning into a debacle for them guys. They're yeah. not liking it. So this is always that fun part where I, well, Brett's not here so specifically. I'm the only one involved in this, but Steve's helping too, but he's on the floors. I think he's full of uh, food. I'm waiting for Unifies to adopt. He's waiting for Unifies to adopt, and they have now, since the start of this video, pause, end of this video, have eaten a whole lot of Indian food, which is really good, spicy. I had some. <laughs> this is the end <laughs> this is the end of the day so well the end of the work they're still here for a little bit longer except for Corey. Hey, i'm going for second shift i'm moving on to the next <laughs> he's got second shift man he's sitting down for a few minutes he yeah he did sleep. first shift second shift i slept okay but he already had four specifically meals. colored labels yeah this Black is not a lettering. set do not separate specifically colored, <laughs> <Black with white laughs> lettering. Specifically colored labels specifically yeah. colored yes they had to be very specific <laughs> <laughs> all right now i can end it here thanks and thank you for making it to the end of the video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more content from the channel hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like youtube to notify you when new videos come out if you'd like to hire us head over to lawrencesystems.com fill out our contact page and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on if you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general. Even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.